resurrected at the end of World War II, rising Cold War tensions gave new life to the concept of an intercontinental bomber. What emerged from the drafting tables of the Consolidated Aircraft Company was a plane straight from the pages of a Jules Verne novel. Designated the B-36, the Titanic bomber may not have been built to start a war, but it could unleash the destructive power to finish one. With a wingspan nearly as long as a football field, its body seemed to stretch on forever. Its enormous tail rose nearly five stories, and with the capacity to hold a rail tank car of fuel, the bomber could remain airborne for almost 50 hours, allowing it to reach targets far across the world. With a crew of 17, the aircraft's forward and rear crew compartments were separated by a bomb bay more than 80 feet in length. In full attack configuration, the B-36 could carry two atomic bombs with the destructive energy of 60 kilotons of TNT, three times that of the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Getting the 200-ton bomber into the air required six piston-powered engines with propellers measuring 19 feet in diameter. Christened the Peacemaker, the Intercontinental Bomber soon became the new icon of American might. <laughs>